Hey guys, what's kicking? My name is Brandy and I like to make cool stuff. In this video today, I'm going to show you how I made this cool goth chain choker. Let's get started. These are the tools that I am using to make my choker. A roll of faux leather. A ruler. I am using a rotary cutter, but you can also use scissors. A leather hole punch. D-rings and a buckle. An awl to poke my holes. Grommets. Little connector jump rings. Various chains I have lying around off of belts and shirts and whatnot. Spikes, jewelry making tools, end punches for my faux leather, a rivet setter, rivets, and various charms that I have lying around. I will also be using a mallet to hammer in my rivets, but I forgot to take a picture of it here. I'm starting off by cutting my faux leather to one inch width. My buckle and my D-rings must equal the width of my choker. And since my choker is one inch, both my buckle and my D-rings will have a measurement of one inch. Fold the edge over two inches, poke a hole in the center of the fold, and that's where the buckle will go. It looks like I did this a little bit off camera. I used my leather hole punch to poke a hole where that tiny hole was, and I slid my buckle on. I'm using two D-rings. I'm sliding on one D-ring next to the buckle. I'm placing a rivet, and then I'm sliding another D-ring on the opposite side of the rivet, and then I'm placing another rivet. These rivets we will set at the end after we finish our choker. For my choker, I'm going to use some chains that are just some odds and ends I've been, I've had lying around. At this point, I'm playing, I'm placing my grommets and my spikes, and I'm figuring out where I want things to go. I ended up deciding to place the grommets two inches apart and I want one grommet in the center of my neck to hold the large charm. And then I want spikes in between the grommets so each piece is actually one inch apart. I'm using my grommet tool to punch holes in the leather and set my grommets. So I realized halfway through that I am making a hell of a lot of noise and I'm probably going to piss my downstairs neighbor off. So I decided to pull over. I have this little seat cushion that I use to sit on the floor and on top of it I use a cutting board and then that's what I use to hammer my rivets and things on. So it absorbs the noise and it doesn't piss my neighbors off. So 
now that I have all of my grommets set, I am poking the holes where these spikes are going to go. So it looks like I deleted some footage of me placing the chains, but I decided to use four chains for this. And the chain in the center is five inches, and the two chains on the outside are seven inches, and the larger chain spanning most of the length of the choker is 10 inches. So I actually spent most of my time looking in the mirror, kind of adjusting and seeing what how I wanted these chains to fall. And then for the center charm, I decided to use an earring. I had a pair of earrings and one of them broke. So one of them I've just been sort of keeping on hand for a time that I could use it. And it is so pretty, I thought this time would be the perfect time to use this charm. I will link to some chains from Amazon that are similar in size to the ones I'm using. So now I'm just using an end punch tool to round off the end of my choker. So here you can see I've added also a couple more charms just to pizzazz it up a little bit more. So now just the finishing touches, I am setting my rivets. And we are finished. She is ready to wear. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. It helps out my channel a lot. And subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this, more DIYs, more stuff on like punk fashion. Have a fabulous day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.